And we're learning more tonight about one community's fight to keep tolls off the Sakonet River Bridge. As we first reported last night, the town of Portsmouth has filed a temporary restraining order trying to block the state from collecting tolls on the heavily traveled span connecting Tiverton and Aquidneck Island. And today, all parties involved met to discuss the legal challenge in federal court. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is live in the newsroom now with the latest developments. I've learned attorneys for the town of Portsmouth, the Department of Transportation, and the Turnpike and Bridge Authority were in the judges' chambers talking about this possible um, uh, restraining order to stop the tolls, but so far nothing's been decided. A town is using the law to try and stop tolls. This document, submitted by the town of Portsmouth, urges a federal judge to enforce a restraining order and stop toll plans immediately. It's all because of this structure, the new Sakonet River Bridge, which opened last year. The Turnpike and Bridge Authority says they have to toll the bridge to be able to repair it. The fact is these are saltwater crossings, there's steel sitting in salt water, they rot out, there's a big expense to maintain them. If, the, if a bridge like this isn't properly maintained, it can't be restored. Construction for the new toll system started Thursday and it will wrap up soon at a cost of more than $2 million. The town's been against tolls from the start, already filing a lawsuit against the plan to have tolling start as soon as July. Now, on top of that, they sent a 30 plus page request to a federal judge, basically asking for no tolls until the lawsuit comes to a conclusion. Reading in part, an injunction will simply preserve the status quo pending a final adjudication on the merits. In the meantime, there's no need for any significant maintenance or repairs on this brand new, recently completed structure. After lawyers met at the courthouse Friday, the judge says there's no immediate need to restrain the tolling since nothing will start until July. They will meet again, though, next week. An official at the authority said the judge asked to have a brief from all the attorneys by June 10th, so we should know, should know more by then. Reporting live in the newsroom, Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.